Hello guys, what is going on? This is MD. Um, another video here. Uh, it's pretty late and I can't sleep. And I wanted to make this video for a while now to explain the new beta wallet for Bitcoin. Today has been an interesting day for Bitcoin. The entire network going down because of the new Binance listing uh, 500 million dollar volume increase from the usual five um, very interesting times anyways this is about the new Bitcoin beta wallet uh, which has been released for a while now you can just download it on the site I'll put the links in the description so I made a new test wallet here it means uh, nothing because I just made this thing and I don't have any funds on it but otherwise your funds would be shown here now um, if you send stuff or receive stuff um, it's gonna be sometimes to your locked or unconfirmed amount till it gets confirmed in the blockchain and then it, it will go to spendable amount um, also there will be some dust accumulating um, this is the leftover amount from certain transactions that you were doing so you shouldn't be worrying about that too much um, now the new beta features in comparison to the older wallet um, for instance the, the biggest features are that it's much more stable that it's much much more faster to synchronize and also that the blockchain has um, the blockchain size has decreased a lot it's it's about 25 gigabytes at the moment so the older wallet was really huge now if you're still using the old wallet and you want to try this one you can just install it and it will uh, use the old blockchain folder and just sync but then you'll spend about more than 50 gigabytes on everything so if you're ready to migrate your wallet be sure to make your backups and then you can try to uh, load this beta up and once you like it you can uh, delete all your app data files except of course your wallets those you need to be back up and then you can reinstall this uh, Bitcoin beta and you'll uh, free up some space but you shouldn't be doing that unless you uh, are ready f to move on to a new wallet but this this one is recommended and there's gonna be a fork for Bitcoin in June I think and then this will be the new standard wallet so I was just um, being careful with this wallet as well I've been using the older one but it was getting pretty sluggish and the, f the blockchain size was getting pretty large so uh, I put this on a couple PCs to test it out and now I got this on my main PC um, alright so here you can this is just the overview you'll see your transactions over here if you have them um, Bitcoin is a really fast coin so if you send things out or receive things it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes usually so it's not Bitcoin and you can send stuff with a very very low fee um, so if you go to the send section over here here you can enter addresses um, you can also put in some contacts maybe some other wallets you have or some friends now here's the um, amount 
and here is the fee it's 100 atomic units per byte this is basically 0 0.01 bytecoin as a fee because I tested this out uh, a while ago I did a couple transactions in the new beta so if you were wondering what this meant I know that 100 atomic units per byte is 0 0.01 that is what I know because I tested it um, furthermore I don't really understand this sentence <laughs> uh, 100 AU per byte it's a little bit of uh, um, it's a little bit of complicated that's the first thing I was wondering what the hell was that um, but it's um, it's pretty obvious you should just leave this at 0 0.01 unless you wanna send huge amounts over and yeah you want it to be a couple seconds faster but it it doesn't really matter for Bitcoin um, you can use a fee for like one Bitcoin as a fee or 0 0.1 but um, I never did a transaction with <laughs> another kind of fee as 0 0.01 I believe so that speaks for itself because I did a lot of transactions um, so payment ID is something you should um, pay attention to because sometimes you need to enter a payment ID for instance to, to send to an exchange or deposit somewhere now keep in mind if you do not fill this payment ID in and it's required you will lose your coins so be extremely careful now here you have your context I don't know if yeah there's a function yeah you can send multiple here you can just add recipient this is this can be handy you don't need to change the fee you can put a couple hundred in here and it doesn't really matter um, context speaks for itself mining you got some pools here you can mine with your CPU right inside the wallet uh, to help the network out uh, console gives you a bunch of information what the client is doing um, by the way if you have installed this beta wallet you're not gonna see an icon on your desktop what you need to open is um, bitcoin gui dot x in your uh, uh, OS, your normal drive where you installed it, C drive, program files, then Bitcoin, and then uh, Bitcoin GUI. So not the wallet D or the other other stuff, the Bitcoin GUI dot X. That that is the uh, application that you need to start, and then you will, you get a password screen, and if you have no password, just press OK. If you have a password, enter your password. Um, before that obviously open your wallet the wallet that you need to open or want if n if you don't have any wallet they'll just make a new one and if you have made a new wallet the first thing you want to do is this you want to uh, make sure that you write down your keys and also save the key file it's very important because you'll be able to restore your wallet and your funds with that key and that key file now the second thing that you want to do is make sure that your wallet file so here in my case that's new test wallet this file you back up make a couple copies of this as well so if you've done those things you got your keys you got your key file and you got your wallet file triple backup then you're good to go make sure that you put them on reliable carriers not some crappy brand USB that 
it's not working because if you lose that you lose everything and it can help to print out your your private key on a piece of paper and put it safely somewhere just in case all the digital carriers fail it can happen so then you are set and you are using uh, Bitcoin and you are part of the ecosystem so um, hopefully uh, you'll get some coins it's still uh, you can still mine but it's better to mine other coins and buy Bitcoin at this stage the network has increased 100 times this last month because of the ASIC crypto note miners there's no news yet of a fork and they have announced that they are not forking at the moment uh, so yeah maybe I'm gonna do another fit to talk a little bit about Bitcoin as a general I'm gonna leave it at this guys because already uh, becoming a pretty long video um, yeah you have some uh, some other options here check send proof I think there's also a, a new feature in, in, in this wallet as I can remember that you can actually uh, uh, show the proof that you send the transaction That's, that can be handy in, in, in trading that is a new feature that they added so um, uh, if actually uh, if, if somebody uh, just uh, ask hey uh, did you really send this yeah you can show that uh, uh, check send proof uh, option I think there's a, there will be a kind of an option here as well if there's a transaction so that is the new features in the new beta wallet and the beta wallet explained how to use it first thing always make up your, make your backups and then just uh, toy around uh, last but not least before sending large amounts always send a test amount and make sure it works especially to exchanges uh, so don't send thousands and thousands of coins potentially a lot of money if you don't know if it works guys uh, be patient take your time Bitcoin is not going anywhere tomorrow will still be a good day and um, if you rush things usually you will end up making mistakes and those mistakes might cost you a lot of money and it can ruin people's lives that kind of stuff so better avoid it so just send out 10 coins <laughs> you know Bitcoin is, is getting more and more expensive so bef doing a test transaction maybe send out 5 coins or 10 coins whatever the minimum is on, on that per particular transaction or receiver exchange maybe they have no limits and you can just send 5 coins double check and then you'll be uh, much happier one thing I want to mention to you guys is that um, now that Bitcoin is growing and maybe getting more popular um, the fees might change eventually uh, if the network uh, difficulty goes higher and higher maybe hits 1000 mega hashes uh, it went from 0 to 10 it took a huge while but it went from 10 to 100 mega hashes in weeks and went from 10 to 200 mega hashes in, 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 in less than weeks and this is the situation with ASIC miners at the moment and, 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 and new technology mixing with, with with software hardware mixing with software uh, lots of competition lots of people uh, big players in the market that want to uh, get a piece of the pie uh, so always um, read up on information uh, but for now 0 0.01 fee is, is the standard for Bitcoin but 
things might change in the future. Um, if I make a video, it's not set in stone. If you know what I mean. Uh, um, so things always change. So um, I also think there's an app, an app wallet, Android or something, might be okay. But this is the wallet that I recommend you should use. Full note. Uh, don't sync on some remote nodes that are sketchy or not not working. Just sync it on a fast PC. That's the best. You know, SSD or fast hard drive. Don't go doing all kinds of transactions and complicated stuff on your, on your 10 year old PC with a very slow hard drive because the chances are it's you know you want a fast system to do these things you don't want to have suddenly that your hard drive stops working or you know once you press send that maybe there's a glitch or the whole computer freezes these things matter alright guys take it easy hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions about bitcoin or the wallet just let me know I'll try the answers best way you can. See you guys.